Welcome to this demonstration of the K2000 Deployment Appliance Setup. At this point, we configure the appliance network and time settings and input the registration data. We will now walk through a few more tasks to get the KBox and network set up and ready to start deploying operating systems to clients. First off, we will install the Windows AAK. The KBox makes use of several tools that Microsoft has bundled into the Windows Automated Installation Kit. For this particular demonstration, we will use the kit for Windows 7 to perform several tasks. The image file is directly available from Microsoft at the URL listed on your screen. So let's get started. We will open up a browser and point to the Microsoft download site for the Windows Automated Installation Kit. Next, we will proceed to download the image file for Windows 7, which is approximately 1.6 gigabytes in size. We will then save the file to our local drive for later retrieval. Please note that the download will take several minutes to complete. Next, we will download and install the Virtual Clone Drive utility. This utility will allow us to mount ISO images directly from the file system without having to burn them to a DVD disk. This handy utility is freeware and directly available from Slysoft.com. Once the executable is started, accept the license agreement. You can accept all default values during the installation as this will associate ISO files with the virtual clone drive utility automatically. the Windows Automated Installer application started, you are presented with a menu of options. Click on the Windows AAK setup to start the installation to your local machine and accept the license agreement. For this particular demonstration, we are using all default values. Once we confirm the installation values, the Windows Automated Installation Kit will begin installing on the selected drive. Please bear in mind that this installation process will run for several minutes depending on your environment speed. In our demonstration, we are speeding up through the process to simply highlight the necessary steps. During the actual installation, this may be a good time for you to pause or take a break. Up next, we will install the Media Manager. The KBox 2000 Media Manager is an application that is used to upload Windows Media to the KBox appliance. To download the Media Manager, we will visit the library page on the KBox. Click on the Download Media Manager link in the Source CD section. Next, click on the Download for Windows link. Please notice that the Media Manager for Windows requires the .NET 2.0 framework. You can verify the version of the .NET available on your system by searching through the Out of Remove applet located in the Windows Control Panel. After downloading the file, run the kmediamanagerwin.msi installer. This will install the application. Once this is finished, close the installer application and we will now be ready to proceed to build our boot environment.
The KBox Systems Deployment Appliance uses a customized version of the Windows Pre-Installation Environment 3.0. This is a network boot environment used to perform scripted OS installations and systems imaging. To build a boot environment, we will perform the following steps. 1. Locate the KBox 2000 Media Manager Utility in the Start menu and launch it. 2. Click on the Create KBox Boot Environment tab. Next, enter the hostname or IP address of your KBox appliance and follow that by entering the name to assign to this boot environment. It is a good idea to append the current date in the name to easily identify when the boot environment was last updated. Next, make sure the 32-bit radio button is selected and then press the Start Upload button. A command window will pop up that will show the build process as it runs. Do not close the command window, as the command window will disappear after the build is complete. When the build is complete, the files will be automatically uploaded to the KBox. The build process will take several minutes to complete. Once completed, please close the KBox 2000 Media Manager application. Next on our setup, we will look at the process of uploading USMT tools, which are the tools needed to perform user state migration tasks. Let's locate the KBox 2000 Media Manager utility in the star menu and launch it. Then click on the Upload USMT tab and then enter the hostname or IP address of your KBox appliance and confirm that the path to your Windows Automated Installation Kit install is correct. Press the Start Upload button so the files will be uploaded to the KBox. This process should take just 2-3 to three minutes. Once completed, close the KBox 2000 Media Manager application. Our final set of tasks is to configure the DHCP server. To perform deployment tasks, the KBox requires the clients put from the appliance over the network. In this section, we will configure our DHCP server to direct network booting clients to boot from the KBox. To enable the DHCP server, click on the Network Settings option in the Control Panel tab. Page down and click the Edit Mode link at the bottom of the page to enter the Edit Mode. Click on the Enable Onboard DHCP Server checkbox and provide an available pool of DHCP addresses in the network. In our case, we are selecting IPs 101 to 120 and will save the changes to take effect. Our K2000 appliance is now enabled to directly provide DHCP addresses to clients put in from the network. We will conclude this demonstration by showing one of our network clients put in from the network. Here we are showing the console from our client too. We will restart the client to demonstrate the client boot process from the K2000 appliance. You will first notice the network boot screen with the client's MAC address being detected. You are then presented with the K2000 deployment menu screen. In our case, we will select the boot environment previously created. The corresponding ISO image will be loaded. This process will take several minutes.
Once the boot process completes, you will see the K2000 deployment menu from which the different deployment tasks such as script and installation, imaging, recovery, and hardware inventory may be run. This concludes this demonstration of the K2000 deployment appliance setup process. For additional information, please visit the Dell Case homepage at www.case.com. Thank you for watching.